what is up gamers and welcome to our newest playthrough on the channel which is bio mutants uh pretty much uh, if you've been watching any of my series for some reason i thought it was coming out friday it actually came out yesterday but unfortunately uh i was doing a box opening for this video so if you haven't watched it definitely go and watch it it'll probably be up before this does uh but uh yeah i was gonna do it, the box opening yesterday unfortunately we had just had really bad weather and my phone was uh, i was recording it from my phone and my phone was just picking up all the sound so unfortunately i didn't actually do the box opening until earlier today when it was actually a bit uh, a lot more quiet and all that so i'm finally jumping into the game i have avoided pretty much most of the spoilers for this game i do know for a fact that there is a dark side and light side me i, I kind of want to go the dark side mainly because every game i've played in this channel i've always been the good side i feel like just for once let's just be a dick and be dark side for the fun of it though i, I believe it's multiple uh, like you pick your questions depending on the questions it turns you evil so and so so we'll play around with that uh, but just something else i do want to say too uh, this I mean if, if you're watching it you'll probably know uh, it might go up on time but there is a chance it might go up early tomorrow uh being for some of you it might be wednesday for if you're in australia it's probably uh australia it's probably thursday uh mainly because there was a f there was a few issues i had with the whole uh b unboxing it was not with the, so much recording it was more of getting the video to render because every rendering site i was using was just apparently couldn't handle the quality that i was doing it so i, I found a different way to do it but it did take me a while to figure it out so hey i'm actually recording this pretty late but that being said we're gonna jump straight into it and uh Welcome to see what there is to it because i've been i mean i i know this has had some settings where uh, i've heard some review like i've seen some reviews not watched them but i've like on youtube i've kind of looked at them because i want to see if anyone was doing some for the uh uh the unboxing for the edition i was doing uh but yeah they were more uh some of them were bad some of them were good i guess they were just 50 50 uh, but then again i believe the people actually i believe half the people that gave a negative co uh, comments were just some fuckheads that just wanted to just think i don't know some of them seemed really toxic uh, when i was watching the uh, i looked at one video because i want to see their review on it they just seemed really toxic like they were just doing it for a joke so i have no idea but anyway we're gonna go normal just because why not but yeah i will say uh even though i am playing this on ps5 it is still ps4 quality i don't think it has a ps5 upgrade as of yet so just a heads up it is Encoded. on playstation 4 it might have its issues here and there but for the most part uh actually i do have a uh you know what let me back in a few seconds i do have a code where i can actually unlock a, uh, an, uh, an extra class i'll be back once i've done that okay so i'm back so i believe it's when it comes to what class i pick i don't think it's these i think it's the class uh we'll have to double check that when i actually get to it but anyway for now uh primals and nimble developed anthropomorphic breed oh my god i don't even know how to pick that that word's too long for me a hybrid with the gene mutation making them nimble and dex dexterous at the cost of their less you really need intellect i feel like i have seen the character creation i do feel like i kind of want to go primal just because it reminds me of deathstroke look at this uh dum don is the, uh, is the least developed i'm going to call it morphic breed um uh hybrid offshoot that compensates on lack of mental so <laughs> as literally just some dumbass rat with the rex dna make it adapt for both physical and mental fair enough uh, mutation extreme tough and resilient so it's kind of like a tank one then i'm guessing uh interlinked with the power of key or kai key which amplifies their psionic output i believe that's psionic output then last but not least is we've got uh you know what yeah we're, we're gonna stick with stick with prime which is because it does really remind me of uh death strike at least because he fights with the sword i think he's like an i think the prime was like the all-round one like 
has the sword, the gun, all that. I mean, I think they all have that, but I don't know. I'm just going off from what I've heard about him. I don't know. I'd like Primal. Uh, to find your character's starting abilities, to see more details, explanations of what each of these. Define your genetic structure. Oh, wait, so vitality. Obviously, uh, the amount of health. Yeah, health. The amount of uh, health. Wait, vitality. Health and the energy cost of dodging. Okay. Health uh, you have is value increases as you level up. The higher your vitality attribute is. The, okay. Armor, pretty straightforward. Strength, melee damage. See, I'll probably go. I kind of just want to put everything on strength, but I probably won't. The higher the melee damage stat, the more damage you deal. Intellect. Key energy you have, the faster your key energy regenerates as well. So pretty much. Yeah, these are. Let's see how this. Char uh, charisma attribute defines how easy it is to persuade other characters banter the ban uh or the barter the barter stat is a barter yeah barter stat increases the amount of green you earn from selling items interesting luck your luck attribute defines how lucky you are the higher your luck the higher the critical oh interesting ew yeah, it looks like a bubble head. That don't increase strength. How high can I get strength just for the fun of it? Or can I get. Oh, I reached it at 100. Oh, what's with your head, sir? Your head looks huge. We can get that at 50. Wait, what, what else do you. Agility, so that's movement speed. I kind of like that, honestly. So we move fast and we've got some strength. Not to mention our head actually looks normal and not like some bubble head. Though our sword is massive. I'm going to go with that, I think. Because I'm pretty sure we can still level up all the other stats. So I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah, go with that. I, li I like how that is. Uh, I check with the... Oh, okay, no, that's just turning me back to that. This is, uh, this is like, can I get, no, you can't get hot and cold. Guess we go like a, a mix between, like push it down a little bit more. Go that, maybe 50, yeah, we'll go with this. Oh, fire, kind of got to go fire them. Biohazard, why not? Choose your first style. Oh. I admit, this uh, game does have a lot of uh, customization for it. Kind of cool just playing around with things, just seeing what you can go with. I like that, honestly. Let's see what else there is for. Of that. I, th I said we go with this. I know, it kind of reminds me of a fox. Does it affect anything? It doesn't. Yeah, we'll go with that. Why not? Uh, oh. So my primal color. I'm gonna move that. Choose your detail color. Oh, wait, I didn't mean that. Pick your main color. I'm trying to, uh... How do I... Oh, that's how. Yeah, we can make it, like, black and red. We could try that. Let, let's try this, one sec. Choose your detail color. Hmm. Maybe add a little blue into it? I don't know, I kind of want black, but I don't know, I think black completely hides its mouth. You know what? Let's go with it anyway. It, it, it's fine. Maybe let's... We can, like, lighten up a little bit. There we go. Now it looks a little bit normal. Because we can actually... I know, he was just really hiding his mouth. Because his mouth isn't very, uh... I mean, we'll go with that. Why not? I like it. Pick a class. 
mercenary dare come sat sentinel dead eye mercenary so there is one sec let me uh oh no this is it mercenary is the new one that came with it that kind of looks sick honestly yeah it is mercenary so this is the one that came with the collector's edition or oh, it just come with pre-ordering actually the mercenary is a trained swordsman who can master the art of the blade we do have a pistol i kind of want to go this honestly we'll lose armor but i mean i'll live dead eye. then with dead eye a dead eye is a tricky skillful rogue who's chosen a life out uh, outside law and and so society dead values dead Commander. the commander is trained in an op uh in an operative i'm adding opera operative of an elite special you know what doesn't matter elite special operization force the commanders are used uh used to working in smaller teams that's all kind of cool we've got uh the sci freaks are experimenting with psionic powers and uh, mutations they're usually outcast that's cool that looks cool that kind of reminds me of Raphael. <laughs> not gonna lie a saboteur is a cunning skilled explorer trained to op uh, operate cover covertly in both yeah and then the sentinel which is sentinels dedicate themselves to protecting a house we're gone mercenary melee dual wield skill equip two different one hand weapons and dual wield them melee weapons attacks inflict 10 percent more damage yeah we're going mercenary because mercenary looks sick i mean look okay one blade's a, a little bit longer than the other i like it let's go with it good choice here's somebody with a troubled past so yeah, we kind of want to try and make him evil if we can. It's already begun. We're already at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Yeah, I'll, I'll try not to speak over the narrator. That being said, uh, I have heard. I, th I mean, the narrator helps from what I've heard, but I know it can annoy people. So do let me know if it does get annoying. I can maybe turn it off. That you probably won't understand what any of the beasts are saying. Crossroad, but a choice, a reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Dark red, as in strength and power. Color me light blue for freedom and loyalty. I mean, honestly, I'm already part red, and I do have swords. I'm literally built to be strength, so that is the dark well, path. I'm pretty sure. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice. Also, this looks like toothless. Mount Train Dragon. Not really, but it reminds me of him. Uh, I'm not sure dark is for me. I'm one with the darkness. We gotta go with it. And then that's uh, Toothless's little girlfriend. I forget her name. I, I never watched the one with her in it. That thing. I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same. With the difference being I'm the better half. Better half. My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself. And it seems we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> Yo, he just beat the shit out of the little white one. Oh, poor thing. Dark plus oh two or a somewhat darker. We can go two different ways. I'm gonna go left. Yes, yes, mainly because I'm left handed, so it's the only thing. I know it just seems right to get. Seems left to go. There we go. Can we look around? No. Stories of death from the bodies like a pony, Ned? A reminder that Is that a pony? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably some mutated beast. Man, it looks like a pony. Yeah, look how sick my dude looks, though. Oh, I have a gun. Yeah, he kind of fights sick with uh, two swords. Do you remember the beast that shattered your? On earth is that? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. 
Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Poor little donkey thing. Oh, I just rolled into him. Yo, this is the uh, base from. This is the base from the statue that I have. Oh. It's gonna. <laughs> it's. Oh, wait. Go again. Oh. Am I even doing damage to him? Rude. Do I am lit? Yeah, I'll see, that's the statue I have. I'm gonna be honest, if you haven't watched the uh, box I'm being, go and check it out. The, the statue is pretty sick. This is not the time nor place to end this story. Uh, ex excuse me, watch your, watch your maze. As much as the statue was sick, it did have a, uh, it's, it's a few issues, but nonetheless, that thing is massive. It was taking up half my table. There we go. That's the end of the game. That that was the full thing. We're done. This time it was best to run. Yeah, we look sick as a ninja. Let us hope you're ready for it. Well, we're actually a mercenary, but Look at me run. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I mean it might. I, was gonna say, I don't think this door would really do much. Okay, I was wrong. It did. The predator I mean, this game looks really good considering it's not PS4. Uh, PS5. So I think we do have like the PS5, uh, PS4 Pro. And move forward. Uh... Move towards an enemy to target them. Aim the camera towards an enemy to, sh uh, to target them with ranged attacks. To reload your weapon, press R. Okay. Key energy is used to, uh, for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, you will be unable to perform these actions. Fair enough. Hey, what? Yo, we, we are a samurai. We kind of got to fight with the sword. Uh, I also regret jumping into them like oh, that. Yo, we do, we're doing like backflips and everything. Yo, look at us go. Let's try and see if I can make a guy like dead, uh, not Deadpool. Like, uh, what's his face? Deathstroke. Now that's a flesh wound. What are you doing, sir? Yo, man, this, uh, I like the mercenary. Can I loot anything? No, I cannot. A shame. I mean, can I know? If, if you know me with any of these games, I like going exploring. If I see the entrance, I'm probably going to go running towards it, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I've always been like that. I just feel like if I don't, I'm going to miss out on something. I will check every little nook and cranny. Admit though, it's uh, it looks clean, the game. Oh, there we go, we got a chest. We got an electric module. You found a weapon special effect on, uh, add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage, t uh, damage type for as long as the ammo lasts. Some, uh, some enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapons. So we can make, like, what, electric... Yeah, electric weapons. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, to attach the special effect add-on, select it through the consumable quick... Okay. Uh, we'll probably click it when I actually probably need it. If I mean, if it runs out after I've uh, used it, I don't really want to waste on something. You found a uh, medic supplies. Uh, your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. You have to... Okay, fair enough. I'll take it. That looks like anything other than a health pack, but okay. 
Uh, you can use the bandages by holding the quick select menu. That's okay. Oh wait, we have two ways we can go. Can we go on the door? <laughs> Yo, we're gonna search in the toilet. We're gonna find a log in there, are we? We found some health bag. Okay. Anything else I can take? Probably not. Is there? No. All right. Guess we're going up the chain. Didn't even have to jump on it. Oh man, yeah, this looks really good. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the. Yeah, this whole. Uh, I'm not like the mercenary. Evolution has its way. Excuse me, where did the big guy come from? Remember to parry enemy attacks. When the enemy attacks, you can use lightning bolts. Shh. Hey. Ooh. Wait, yo, that was sick. You, big guy, <laughs> keep your distance. Yo, I am liking this, the the uh, mercenary. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot you, sir. Hey, oh, I can loot him. Fallen enemies can offer uh, can often be looted for health items. Find a highlighted enemy. I didn't see him highlighted, but okay. Uh, remember to use your healing items when you're wounded to open up. Yeah. What's this? We got a tongue tongue tiggly. I have no idea what that is. I'm just gonna let you. I don't know what that is. We got dandy candy. Oh. Do you all have? No, he doesn't. What's this? Dandy? Can I swim? I mean, it's acid. I probably can't. It's like tar. Oh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I wanted to test it. Yet and then I'm going for a swim. Yeah, I'll admit though, this is a... Uh, I like the fight. Like that slash that we did in the air was kind of sick, not gonna lie. No, 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 no. Rude. I want to see if I could hit that. I don't think I can. Can I shoot? I'm curious. Can I? Sh no, when I do that, I can't. Watch it. All right, I'm getting pounded. <laughs> I can shoot it. Oh, so quick heal. Whoop. Yo, look at us go. Hey, sir. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot you. Fuck you. Have a grown panda. Those are the Energy pack. Sweet meat? Definitely don't want anyone's sweet meat, but okay. Energy pack. Whatever that tongue thing is. I love how it has like these little, uh. Kaboom. It reminds me of like, come, kind of like a comic book. Am I supposed to go in here? Is there even anything in here? Am I just running in here because I can? Where am I supposed to go in here, I think? I am. Let me see if there's anything out here. Uh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Last time I tried jumping, that did not end too well. Actually, can you even swim in this game? Surely you can, right? Oh, I can climb it. I thought I could, maybe not. All right, we're just gonna keep running then. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm hoping this turns out uh, well on the... What is that? Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal the... Hey, say no more. I'm a... I'm a mercenary, sir. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I'm really hoping this turns out well on the on the recording because this game looks 
pretty decent for what it is. I'm really surprised this isn't a uh, on like PlayStation 5. Wait, this rat needs to die. Hold on to that. <laughs> he needs to die. He's he shot too much. A smartphone. Yo, we just dashed under his legs. Yo, that. Yo, we are like sliding. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You'll also get one point uh, that you can use to unlock skills in the Wufu and perk menus. I'll take it. Can I go in here? Probably not. So how do I open up the menu? This definitely ain't a menu. Is this the whole map? That looks kind of small. Oh, here we go. Now, when you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick which attribute you want to increase. I feel like I kind of want to keep leveling up my strength. We're a ninja after all. Let's get strength to 100 at least. Uh, you'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Close con- let's go close. Double-handed slash? So these are all the different combos. Unstoppable pig. Yo, that looks sick. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> I didn't even look. You can now perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped. Uh, when you've uh, once you've unlocked more, uh, once you've unlocked more attacks, you'll be able to combine them to reach a super woofing state. What's this one? Wait, I can throw my weapons. Yeah, that one sounds kind of cool though. Dual wield guns. Yeah, we can add dual wielding guns to this as well. That'd be kind of cool. Then we literally could be Deathstroke. I'm pretty sure he has two guns. Melee basics. So we've got all these. Wait. Uh, once you uh, once you have more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks, special attacks. Wanted to uh, see something. I'm just trying to see if I can like dash around. Can I let you? I can. Uh, you've you're on your way to perform a special attack. Sp uh, special uh, possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right. Oh, it's. Oh well, that's not what I want. Well, oh, there we go. That's the little uh, jabby jab. <laughs> We're rocking. Why is there a crowbar in just the middle of half ass nowhere? Old world cal clawbar. Okay. Seems like it could be cool. I definitely need to check out some other release. Uh, if you're not aware, apparently this game is like really, really big. Like, I think to beat the story, like if you're just rushing through, it's like 15, like 12, 15 minutes or something. Uh, not minutes, hours. But I think like if you just want to take your time, do everything, have fun in the world, I think it's like 60... To 100 hours like I, it's something massive like that it's absolutely crazy oh down we go where is that a little i just realized there's a little grass have a uh, grasshopper following us no really i mean it yeah i want to fight some more things where is everything yep probably uh That's just a double jump. Wait, does triangle do anything? So triangle by itself doesn't do anything. Because if I do it in that combo, it does. I want to use the combo on these. I want to see if it does anything. Their multi organ that they shed under distress, blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Hey. Probably should 
I'm gonna have to get used to the whole dodging thing. Oh! There we go. Yo, that's kind of sick, that ability. Yo, look at us just literally flip all over the place. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of digging it. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs to de uh, uh, by defeating morgues and finding containers. Okay, fair enough. You are AA. Uh, you can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time. Cool, we'll check it out. First things first. Can I loot them? Hello? I guess not. Oh, okay, so this is how I get to this. We've got the gear. In this section, you can equip gear and weapons. You cycle through uh, the circle icons, represent a part of the body that can be geared up. With equipment found or bought by uh, from vendors, your favorites can be saved as out. So you have more than one outfit thing. Can we actually? You can sort your gear according to different stats. You can scrap the high the highlighted pieces of gear to craft resources by. Okay, fair enough. Hey, I'm pretty sure that's what I have on. This is the inventory. Got a bunch of. This is our electric thing. Then we've got our tools. This is the outfit menu where you can create and save different This is where you can have different things. I guess depending on how you want to play, you can just have a different costume for it. That's kind of cool. Function. Oh, that was a flashlight. For a second, it's a flashlight. Uh, go to the mutation tab to unlock Psy powers. Where is it? Well, there's the aura. There's Toothless and his girlfriend. Oh, there we are. The dark. This is what we do have. So we have some little gas cloud, some gas bomb. Yeah, the shrooms are kind of sick. Yeah, I want the red wasps or whatever they're called. That sounds kind of cool. What about side powers? You can dash. Yeah, I kind of want the blink. That kind of makes me look. That kind of seems like it suits a uh, ninja. Upgrade. Oh, so we can. So you actually have a chance to actually be able to max all these out, but I guess you probably want to put in more points, right? Uh, just get. I mean, I guess if you've got all the abilities that you want, then you probably don't need to. Any chests? Nope. All right, we'll keep going. I don't know how long we'll go for. We probably won't go for super long. I mean, because I do want to try and get this up tonight if I can. But we'll, we'll, we'll see if, it, if I can. Oh, my chests. I want more chests. And then I can loop. Also, this bit of annoying reminds me of R2D2. Nothing. Oh, wait. Nope. Flat down. Wait, how do I get out of here? Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Kind of looks like my hat. <laughs> kind of. A little off. Well, that's where it wants me to go. Bolted shut. Apparently I have no choice. I'm watching a video. Uh, you found a puzzle. These are scattered around the world. Some uh, some open new paths, while others feature different rewards. Which okay, I rotate the nods. This is the number. Uh, this is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intelligence, the more moves you have. they are gonna do this in ten minutes. Well, that sounds. Uh, each nod has a certain position. It must be rotated into. Uh, into to complete the puzzle we're running okay we'll just figure it out i'm guessing uh, just a few moves left make them count 
Okay. Yeah. I had a feeling that was probably what it was. Saw the lights. I was wondering if I had to match them. Looks like I did. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. This is going to be our future. <laughs> if, if we keep going the way we do, this is what our future is going to look like, literally. Assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. Fair enough. Yeah, as I said, that's literally what our world's gonna appear like in in some future. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is pew pew. A good thing. It's coming from behind that door. Yeah, let, let's go and follow the sound so I can run around and slash everything. The box looks like a potential brain melt. I just, <laughs> it literally sounds like R2-D2, all I hear is some robot thing. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short-circuit the door. Maybe it's just like this, isn't it? it wasn't that hard. I wonder if they will have some uh, okay. pain in the ass ones. I know Ratchet and Clank had some pain in the ass ones. <laughs> I'm hoping we don't get it, some of those, because they some of them really hurt my head, those ones. Like, they were so... such... Oh, it's a guy in a wheelchair. Perf uh, perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stun enemy uh, has stars circle above their head. And after hitting the enemy uh, again, you can launch it into the air by pressing. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Feel bad for. Uh, <laughs> at least I'm not fighting him, I guess. Yo. Yo, look at me just sl hey. Yeah. Oh man, he's got a shotgun. I'm definitely not dodging any of these. <laughs> he's just running around with a shotgun. Hey. Yo, look at me go. I'm just slashing them all up. I also can't keep up, I'm <laughs> just all over the place. I'm not very good at aiming my gun. Yeah, I kind of like that slash. Hey, rude. <laughs> yeah, good luck trying to... I'm kind of glad I don't have to fight the guy in the wheelchair. I mean, even though I am going to try and do an <laughs> evil path, I'd feel kind of bad, not going to lie. That's the last of them. Let's Ease. The Are you dead, sir? Got that thing again. Lovely. They definitely know what to do with it. Got that. I think some of them have loot. Some of them just salvage. What? Any oh, energy pack small. And then with the sweet meal, oh, stole someone else's meat. Okay, <laughs> sure. This grasshopper is just following me. I guess it's my little companion, right? What a shit life. You're in some mutated world. You're missing your leg and you're stuck. Actually, you're like in the monster truck of uh of a wheelchairs. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. 
with Oya. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's <laughs> way overdue, but he has What a name. He does not seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. We know wheelchair dude? What a small world. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. You have the scar. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? Well, no, I can't see under the eye patch. You, anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. My Muma? I'm guessing that's my mom, right? My Muma. It's my dad, Duda. You're the child. And that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma, Lupa Lupin, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided. And formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. It was at stake. I don't really know what unity. The impending threat of the world eaters bringing down the tree of life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Don't say I do. Oh, by default, dialogues are set to advance uh, from one NPC line to the next automatically. If you want to manually advance it, well, we'll just keep it as it is. That's fine. Oh, I'm a little one. Yeah, look, I've got both eyes. Yo, I'm adorable. Look at my little booty. Look at my little booty go. I mean, this place looks kind of sick. <laughs> the fuck? That's like a John Travolta. That, that's like... That's what Rufus from Kim like, Impossible looks like when it's grown up. Like a naked mole. Oh, it's not really naked. It's got a hairdo. I don't think she cares. Uh, let's go with this. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. If I had to take a guess, I'm probably gonna guess somewhere you along the line my parents are gonna die. So we can just. Way out here to see them. I mean, maybe they're still alive. I don't know. Maybe. The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life no no potato people is better yeah i want to see a little potato person all i think of is mr potato head <laughs> and mrs potato head with energy an excellent source of key i love his voice he really does remind me of like one of those it's just a john Travolta. this is what he looks like in greece in glitter grass he says you should get over there and ruffle it see if you can make one come out of hiding also why am i so little i'm like the size of his shoe <laughs> i'm so tiny where am i going by the way that's a sprint that's a block <laughs> look at my little booty wiggle I have a punch? I feel like that would hurt my fist. Fist is so little, I feel like it would... <laughs> Everything is jumbo-sized to me. 
What am I, like two? Hello? No. Okay, I'm just kicking it. No. Oh. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. I don't know. I'm just going to go will grow. Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. Wait, is his name Best Friend? Did I read that? I just read... Oh, Best before. I thought it said Best Friends. Like, I don't even know you. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from Monono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Looks like a, uh... <laughs> it's, it's like double my height. I want to look at it. I didn't even get to see it. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. I'm so little I don't even fit in the screen. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. Where can I find them? They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. I swear he just sings everything. Today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. I'm gonna be honest, if I was to turn off the narrator, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to hear a single thing. <laughs> All I'd hear is just a bunch of noises. Maybe it's something we'll probably keep on. At least it'll keep things a little interesting. So, am I supposed to be like a cat or something? I don't even know what these guys are supposed to be. We got some ants. Yo, imagine if we actually had some ants growing uh, trees. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake. But for all of us, everyone. One day the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to. Mamuma? Do I not have a dad? You can is that, is that what we're getting at? From how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Do I ever get to see my Mooma? He says you better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. She only cares about Wu. Look at this. No, she's got lots on her. We'll be an innocent little kid. We can't let people know that we're evil. Camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. Wait, is he supposed to be the John Travolta looking rat? He says he remembers every single day he devoted to Oh, it is. So what happened to your hair? He's afraid it might be in what happened to your leg? The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived oh world eaters <laughs> i still love how his days out of date the 
genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the toxinol corporation inflicted on the land set the world eaters dna into overdrive His friend Gizmo is working Jumbo on Puff. and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing Mer his they all named after Puff? to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface. So there is something moving on that map. Is that a beast? Oh, there's something moving on all of them. Nocco has tamed the, the Hoof Puff and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Goop is almost the Porky done Puff. The good life. A machine uh, isn't there a food that's called a Porky Puff? All the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date, says his friends, are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Okay, his friends, he looks like he's kind of sitting here by himself. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. I don't care about the tree. We're going to be evil. We can't worry about a tree. We're going to team all, we're going to team all these beasts. For him, the porky is particularly personal it was that carnivorous beast that took his leg ew Regardless, i mean i should have figured the beast took his leg your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters oh got his net rod net fancy looking net end of the world where are they even supposed to be going Fate of the world. I'm kind of trapped in here. Can I climb out? Get out of bunker. Do I just get back out of here? You're getting the hang of it. Why would I lock it if I'm just going to struggle getting back out? Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the just left it open. I mean, what's going to happen? Yeah, where's zooming up experience though? There should be like something just on these ledges. Yeah, this looks sick though. And one thing I will say though is I'll probably I mean I'll, I might do some stuff here and there. No, oh, I'll wait till after this. Of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world. There we go, there's bio mutants. Anyway, as I was saying is I'll probably do most of like the Do like some grain stuff, probably just screw around off camera, just doing like some side quests and all that. But here and there I might do some side quests on Oh. I might do some side quests on uh camera too. We'll just play around. If I feel like there's one worth it then we might do it or I'll just do it off camera. Maps it out for the cartographically challenged. The signpost. Oh, yeah, I'm taking a little. Let's see. I must be a dog. The dog's the only one that pees on everything. Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You'll unlock a signpost when interacting with it. Like I pee on it when I find it. You can fur. Uh, you can fast travel to signposts you've unlocked by. Okay, that's kind of cool. Open the map. I actually hit that before. Oh, why is it so yellow? <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's supposed to be that yellow. I'm going to be honest. Is there anything up here? Can I climb this? No. Cannot, unfortunately. The fuck is that thing? It looks like a mutated shark that's somehow grown legs and doesn't have a fin. Well, there goes that village. Must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. Huh. 
You need a hat trick to bring that down. How the fuck did you only lose one leg off that thing? That thing has three heads. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Yeah, how do you lose only a leg from a three-headed beast? I feel like it would have bit your whole... Just everything off. Both legs, your arms. Ooh, there's a little bit of frame drop there. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Poor thing looks so depressed. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? He's heard the stories. Fuck is that voice? <laughs> nope. No, no, no. The wrong claims, but never expected one to come all the way here. Why does it remind me of a? Uh, what's his face from Winnie the Pooh? Eon. His voice. I don't know why it just does. Your inner balance has two halves. The uh, the completes the the wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest the inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. Uh, few, are the, uh, few are these who always act in the same manner. The whole and our wholeness is the sum of the choice we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates your aura score, which affects the dialogue. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. <laughs> it just reminds me of the... <laughs> I believe it is Eeyore. Something tells him you've stayed true. Or is Eeyore from something else? Interacting with captives and sire shrines will allow you with... Uh, will award you with side points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required... Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. I want to help him because I feel bad for him. But do I want to go the dark path or the good path? I really feel sorry for him. He looks so depressed. I'm sorry, we've got to go the dark path. He can't understand why you do such a thing. He won't make it out of here on his I mean, own. I'm pretty sure he's not making it out of here even if I help you. <laughs> Yo, I just launched his ass. Dark set, that sounds bad. I always like the darkness. Seriously? I always thought better of you than that. And you were wrong. There's always more dark. Yo, I just still time to turn back. I kind of feel bad. But let's be honest. Yo, he just smacked the little thing over there with the with the shovel. Ooh. The uh camera freak out. I will admit, uh hopefully they'll get this whole freak out. I've noticed a few points, like the frames just go weird. You've gained a side point. Use it to unlock powers in the uh, mutation menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score, meaning that your side points can only uh, un uh unlock powers at the same car. Fair enough. It's like that spinning, like it freaks out the screen. Where'd he go? Is he dead? There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. So you're already missing a leg. I suggest maybe not come out here. <laughs> He's gonna get killed again. Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there's two nearby. <laughs> The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, fear. Yes, we need that. We're a mercenary. We need to be feared. We need they people need to know. You mess with us, we're gonna ninja your ass. Between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surface. Yeah, I want to see the Leviathan. Do we ever get to go up against one? That'll be kind of cool. In a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. 
They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world. And what yeah, we're going the dark side. Hey, we're a mercenary. We we gotta take the dark path. When do you ever see a mercenary that's a good guy? <laughs> I mean, I guess there is some, but majority of the time, I'm pretty sure they're evil. Some way or another. Shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Uh, yeah, this. Did he tell me more about him? He believes you share Jagni's view on the world. Regardless, Jagni would welcome someone that had helped them against the Myriad tribes. Yeah, I wonder if he made his wheelchair. He made like a monster truck wheelchair. Those wheels are massive. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Uh, your current, uh, your current and start, uh, and started quests are shown in the journal. See the top menu above. You find the, you find the journal from the, uh, map. Fair enough. We have that. So we want to go. That's the, that's the tribe, right? We'll probably go and pick out tribes and we might uh, call the episode here. It's already going to be over about a little bit over an hour. Yeah, we'll, we'll get our tribe and then we'll continue this probably tomorrow. I, I, I just want to get this more up today if I can. Yes, yeah, so we have some buyer points and some. What's this? Oh. What's this? We've got double dragon. That's just a slash. A spin slash. That one too. Go down again, no. So it ends with that. It's just throwing my blades. That's kind of cool, though. One hand slash drunken ant. Interesting. I mean, he's got like oh, that's one hand slash, and then we've got the dual weapon. Okay, ranged dual wield guns. Wait, did I throw my guns? I'll just have a look at that a bit later. I, I probably won't waste it now because I do kind of want to get this video done so I can get it up. But I'll probably look around at it. Just get over it. <laughs> I'll definitely uh, have a bit more play around. As I said, I'll probably do some online, uh, some stuff offline. I want to fight him. No, I want to attack these guys. Alright, we're just going to keep running. <laughs> Fuck it. I wanted to save the guys with the cool armor, but no, I seem to want to just target them. Destroyed this area. Muddied up what used to be muck. Interesting. If it wasn't fat enough before the Mine. <gasps> what is it? More pills. Things trying to tell me something, honestly. <laughs> it's trying to get me killed. Well, oh, that's probably going to lead somewhere else. I'll go back there later. I don't even feel like I'm sprinting. That's, that's the Jagni tribe's fault. Yo, they're full of sick though. A blessing or a curse, it's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war, or part of the. We got another PP sign. We appear on this one too. We do. So officially a dog. Yes. <laughs> We're literally a dog. We can just teleport between these two, right? Yeah. I think, I mean, I've seen better doors, honestly. Right out of the cradle. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. I've got to get going. They've got the sick armor. I kind of want to see if I can wear their armor. Yo, look at us walking like a boss. A sloth? No. 
Is it a sloth? Yeah, I want his armor though. Give or take the mask. I, I kind of like it without the mask. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. I agree. Let's take them all out. Is determined to let the world what is that? Destroy the tree of life as it's part that looks of like a cro crocodile on crack. <laughs> it's like a mutated croc. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. Great Wall? Can we go outside the Great Wall? The wall that separates them from the other side, the wasteland you came from. He guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory, as empty and barren as the wasteland itself. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves, but he's glad you chose to come here. These colors remind me of a barber shop, just a black, red, and white. Memories of you as a kidling, he can still sense your kind hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu. And you, my Muma. Uh, the way they're talking about, it, I'm guessing she's probably dead. There's more reason why we should become evil. Invented Wang Fu. Originally, it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons: the boomerang, the shuriken. The yeah, I wonder if I get a shuriken. That'd be kind of sick. And the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination. No, I, I'm... So embracing that side in you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the tree of life should be an easy decision. I'm going this. I'm joining them. We're going to be a one. No, I'm going to be a one man. I mean, I'm a mercenary. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. I will say too, I actually got a new controller today. So thank God. Hopefully I should not have the camera just randomly moving anymore. He's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Myriad? The Myriad Unexceptional Gelato. That's his name. In the greater good and Interesting. The of honor, but uniting the tribes and saving the tree of life won't change anything. You must stop living in the past. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, the mercenary gear looks sick. I actually love it. Their kin must put an end to what if they're too strong? War puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim. Can be honest, they're not gonna be too strong. I'm a ninja, I've got two swords. They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of My real name is Deathstroke. Wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Easy. Leave it to Deathstroke. He says you'll regret <laughs> thing. not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe... Reminds me of someone from Star Wars. If you it's that way he's looking at me. That will never happen. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualty. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. 
claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. I kind of want the weapons. I want a shuriken. Who has the shuriken? I'll go and kill them first. Taught each disciple a weapon. She never intended it for hunting nor war, but lately the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attack. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. <laughs> I wouldn't really consider killing everyone inside good, but Any hey, I could be wrong. Pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. What about the old village? He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. Yeah, I've got six swords though. I think we can do my slash. Wait, can I attack him? I can't stay. I need. To... You have orders to follow. Ah. Oh. Says you will see each other later. I'm sorry. I just want to attack you. All right. Anyway, I think this is a good enough spot to uh, call it here. It's already going to be around like an hour, or ten minutes. Uh, this is going to take me uh, a little bit to render. I am hoping I can get it done up tonight. If not, uh, expect it maybe. Uh, well, I guess if you're overseas, like in the US or something, you probably still get up in the same day. But I mean, if you're in Australia, it might come up around like twelve. 12.30 uh, obviously there, there was a few issues as I said with the whole uh, getting the the uh, unboxing video to uh, render but I ended up getting it done in the end but it was already super too late but yeah I do hope you enjoyed this episode uh, I do hope you enjoyed the look of this game so far I'm definitely enjoying it uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else there is also I apologize for my dog he uh, does not know how to shut up at times but yeah I, I do hope you enjoy it uh we'll definitely jump into this uh, as i said the, uh, at the start of this video i wasn't actually expecting it to drop uh so early again i thought it was going to drop on friday so we're going to put snap and phoenix rising on pause probably till the weekend just for the next couple of days we're just going to focus on this uh just because i, I kind of want to play it like i've been hyped to play it and not to mention i'm a mercenary i look i am secretly deathstrike as a little rodent but yeah, anyway, as I said, uh, we'll be continuing this over for at least the rest of the week. We'll probably do maybe two episodes a day, maybe one. I know it really depends on, ha uh, hopefully nothing gets uh, screwed up. But anyway, as I was saying, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't gone and checked out the unboxing, definitely go and check it out. It was actually some, uh, we, the statue was actually pretty awesome. Uh, not to mention, it did have a few uh, issues. We did have some parts break because they're literally stuck on with like the tiniest strand of hair. Like, uh, it's amazing how they even stay on, but honestly if i'm being honest as much as i love the statue uh it was i don't know it was very poorly put together uh not put together it was more very poorly made i had to put it together but there was parts that didn't even fit, like there was parts that were supposed to go in spots were, that weren't even uh, that weren't even big enough to fit in there like there was a rod that's supposed to go in the rat's knee uh but it, the, it wasn't it wasn't big enough so i ended up forcing it in there i did i think i did kind of split his leg a little bit the plastic but like i don't know and then those parts like the big beast thing uh you gotta like plant his feet in but he, his feet weren't far apart enough to even fit into the uh into the uh holes so i don't know it was very poorly designed i feel like they did mesh everything up but Maybe that's just my thought. But anyway, as I said, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification to know when the uh, videos go live. And I'll be back again tomorrow with some more of this. So until then, take care and peace out.